G'day everyone and welcome to your Friday footy feed. St Kilda forward Stephen Milne has appeared in court on rape charges and is now a step closer to returning to play. After a very brief appearance this morning in court, the 33-year-old will now be back in court on September 13. He remains on a club-imposed leave of absence and didn't join teammates on a flight to Perth this afternoon, but his coach says he will be available to take on the Blues next week. Uh, we'll pick a side, um, you know, and quite possibly he'll be in that. You know, we've tried to maintain a very respectful position to all parties that, have, that are involved. And it's a, as we've said a number of times, it's a unique set of circumstances. It's now a matter before the courts and we don't really have too much more to add to it. Lenny Hayes is back to take on Fremantle, but skipper Nick Revolt is being rested with knee soreness. Now, the chairman's spoken, the captain's answered questions, but the coach is sticking to the line that he won't give a running commentary. James Hurd fronted the cameras this morning at Tullamarine, but wouldn't talk about the club's advice that AOD 9604 is not performance enhancing. I think that, um, you know, as a coach, I'm here to talk about football, and, uh, and I think the club is, is well on its rights to um, put some facts on the table. But um, today's conference is about football, and appreciate that we get back onto that topic. He did say he's not concerned about losing Premiership points, though. The Bombers face an informed Port Adelaide on Sunday, who'll head to Eddie Had Stadium following wins over Sydney and Collingwood. Well, the Swans play Melbourne on Sunday, and it'll mark a milestone for a bloke with a pretty famous name. For more, James Dampney joins us from the SCG. James. Yeah, that's right, Matty. Well, news out of Sydney this week is Josh Kennedy will play his 100th game against Melbourne on Sunday. His three years in Sydney have yielded a Premiership, a best and fairest and an All-Australian, but he began with modest expectations. Didn't have too many expectations when coming here uh, three and a half years ago. I think it was just, look, at the end of the day, it was an opportunity to see whether or not I was good enough. Um, and the worst case scenario was that I'd, it'd be a good experience. When talk turned to the game, Kennedy said he was wary of Melbourne's newfound freedom under Neil Craig. Obviously under uh, Craigie now, they've, they've, they've been saying during the week that they're feeling a bit more free in their game plan. So. We're going to have to really try and shut that down and uh, try and our uh, pressure is going to be have, have to be at its best to uh, really shut their run and, and uh, attack down. So there you go, Matty. There'll be no complacency from the Swans on Sunday at the MCG. Good stuff, James. Thanks for that. Now, as the Hawks look to break their 10-game losing streak against the Cats, they'll be bolstered tomorrow night by the return of Cyril Rioli. He's back after injuring his hamstring in round five. Uh, he's had a really good rehab and he's ready to play. He probably has been for the last two weeks, but we've... Um, I thought that the best uh, preparation for him to return to action was to get a get a mini pre-season in a sense. So he's he's trained fully for the best part of three weeks now, four weeks. So uh, we've been really pleased with his preparation. But Clarkson won't reveal what role he plans for Cyril in the blockbuster. An understrength West Coast has taken to Amy Stadium ahead of tomorrow night's clash with Adelaide. They are putting a positive spin on an injury list that includes Daniel Kerr, Shannon Hearn, Sharad Wellingham and the Selwood brothers. It gives people opportunity um, to come into the side and you know, gives people opportunity within the side to step up and take a more um, responsible role. So um, it's exciting. And our camera has spotted Crows assistant Dean Bailey carrying out some reconnaissance work. How about that? And final preparations at the Gabba ahead of tomorrow night's Q clash between the Lions and the Suns. We want to be the dominant side in Queensland and, and probably Gold Coast at the moment. They're probably they're going better than us. So um, from, a, from a team point of view, we want, to, we want to really stamp our authority that we're the number one team in Queensland. That's what we're going to try and do. Brisbane has won four out of the five Queensland derbies so far. And that is our footy feed for this Friday. Carlton and Collingwood at the MCG tonight. Join the conversation, of course, on Twitter and on Facebook. I'm Matt Thompson. Thanks for being with us this week. Have an awesome weekend.